people who are kind, I love. <laughs> I have been with that way. I, I watch the uh, big party movies and because I've seen it most of the most of the everybody around the same age. Yeah. And yeah. I just I just think what well, I mean something. Acting has got to be hard work. Period. It is hard work. But how much fun you can have if you're with the right group. That's right. Exactly. So, Exactly. And and that's what Jonathan really taught me um, in uh, about the business. Because I was very young when I did Lost in Space. I mean I had done I had been working for a long time and I always understood how to approach the, the crew. But John but Jonathan was a great example of it. He you know, he'd been in around for a long time and uh, he like myself started in theater and, and uh, but he treated everyone equally and with with respect and with teasing. He had a great sense of humor and a great great uh, way of uh, making pe people feel special. And that, you know, um, you're an ensemble when you're doing something. And if there's one bad apple, it affects everyone. And the, a story I've heard about George Clooney is that you don't, you don't do that. You're never a prima donna on his set, no matter who you are. If you are, you're gone. And because of that, because a happy set is a successful set. And um, and Jonathan knew that. And, and Jonathan would bring lollipops, uh, uh, Tootsie Pops, to, Tootsie Pops, every Friday, because that was a late day for every time. And because they could work you until, you know, the wee hours of the morning. And um, and uh, and he'd just hand out lollipops to everybody, and it just became this wonderful tradition. And yeah, you know, just just little things like that. That um, it's not so little, you know. And it becomes. I mean, you see, one of the TV shows, the pilot episode, and you know, we got to Brazil and Ireland. When you see the pilot episode, and then the the actual episode that they start and they change the cast because you can see from the pilot that it's just not the the, the chemistry is not the chemistry is not the same. Yeah, I yeah. think it's very it's very it's an art uh, in any industry to get that right team. So that's right, and that's why I think like the program Mayor of East Town was so good was because Kate Winslet said this is this is this is these are my roles and they were the same. For an ensemble, no one is better and no one is more important than the other. And uh, and I mean, we all have that in our work experience, you know. And I mean, sometimes you don't like someone, but you you know, you just do it. You you, you go forward and you get smarter. But most of the time, I've always most of the time I've liked who I've worked with, and I felt fortunate. Unless they're not doing their job, if they are not. Doing, if, they're not come, if they don't come prepared, I I lose respect. They don't know. Like I just worked with someone um, for a showcase that I was doing in a piece called The Big Knife, and uh, which is a clip of death's play. And uh, he's my age, uh, but he, he I. I discovered he was a dilettante. And he went on vacation out of uh, four of the eight weeks that we're supposed to rehearse. And I said, well, surely you thought about it. Because I did. I knew my lines. I did. It was a difficult piece. He said, I was on vacation. Why would I think about it? I almost, you know, I, I was so upset. I called the head guy and I said, you know, this guy is not, he's not committed to this work. And don't ever put me with him again. <laughs> and uh, assign, assign me with him. And uh, and it showed. And, and not mine. I was ready. I was. I was. I rocked it. If I, I did. And and I knew I did. But uh, only out of my own will. And uh, I mean, I love theater. I love. I love acting. Acting, as you said, is hard work because it's it's not. And my first husband, who I, I love to see, uh, he wouldn't watch Lost in Space. He, I don't know why, but he was a psychologist. But he would say, 
Oh, anyone can do that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, I couldn't get him to understand that, no, no, not anyone can do it. It is, it is something special. There's a, Ingrid Bergman talks about, uh, talks about light. They, someone asked, them, asked her about Casablanca. You're glowing, you know. And she said, well, I think about a light that comes from my eyes. And, 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 it's, and it's almost spiritual. And I've always thought that, to fill myself with the light, you know, from above. And, and to, because as actors, we're, we're here to communicate. We're to communicate the human condition. And whether it's, you know, things from Lost in Space, where you have a feeling where you have this um, uh, uh, wonderful um, uh, representation, of, representation of the family, of the, you know, the family uh, unit, and, and surviving together and, and holding each other up. I mean, that's the human condition, and that's, and, and, and you know, as actors, that's what we do. Very nice. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marta.